Okay, so what about this foundation business? Let's start from the bottom and work up. Um, this, this foundation is extremely important, just like it is for a house or any other very, very large or slash heavy object. And, and so typically, for example, an 800-ton machine you know, weighs about 100,000 pounds or 50 tons. And uh, so that's, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty heavy. So we need to do something. We can't just plop this machine down on any surface and expect it to perform the way it's supposed to or the way it was designed to be. Uh, performing. So um, indeed machines themselves are not very rigid or able to support their own weight. Um, let's say if you put them on an uneven surface, they, they very easily can twist, distort, bend, bow, uh, whatever. Uh, they're fairly elastic uh, constructs, I'll call them. And so what, what we have to do is provide some kind of foundation that gives us a good, solid, rigid, relatively rigid, and stable support. Um, and furthermore, we just can't deal with the static weight of the machine. Uh, we have to realize that uh, the machines move, and, and in fact, they move relatively quickly uh, for their mass. And so, you know, platens come to an abrupt halt when they're opened or when they're closed, and um, you know, there's a lot of motion and um, impact when the shot is made. And, and so the, the point is, is that um, the foundation underneath the machine has to be able to deal with these uh, dynamic loads as well, which, which, you know, can maybe, you know, increase the static weight of the machine load on the foundation by 10, 20 percent sometimes depending on the machine and how big it is and how fast it moves. So uh, the other thing is the machine's got motors, pumps, um, all kinds of related equipment on it, and so vibrations occur which are translated down into the uh, foundation and, and hopefully we have a way of dealing with those vibration uh, problems as well. So. Um, and then finally, because of these dynamic movements, the machine's got to somehow be affixed uh, to the foundation so it can't slide around or move around. And, and so we'll look at those things too. And then finally, um, let's face it, things uh, come out of the machine. Uh, lubricants uh, that, that lubricate the moving parts of the machine, greases, oils, things of that nature. Um, and furthermore, the uh, effluent from spraying the dye, liquid, uh, you know, water-based fluids, etc., will drip down under the machine, and if you don't make accommodation for those fluids to drain out from under there, you get a big mess uh, underneath the machine. To purchase access to this course, visit the NADCA Marketplace at www.diecasting.org slash store. Purchasing a course through the online education system grants you one year of access to the recording, presentation, support material, and test when applicable. NADCA Video News and Information is brought to you by the following sponsors.